Hello folks and welcome to this very special episode of Mountains Peak. Um, this is our Mamoles Challenge video. Um, 10 mountains in one day. It is 9 o'clock on Tuesday the 20th of July, the night before. <coughs> um, we we're both a little bit anxious. Uh, just a bit. Just a bit. Full bellies though. <laughs> <laughs> just had a lovely big dinner. Um, so we're in Fort William as well obviously. It's beautiful here. I don't know if you can see all that behind us. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're getting prepared for tomorrow. So for those of you that haven't been following me on Facebook recently, um, basically this is a, a charitable hike that me and Brad are doing um, for JDRF, which is the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and um, the Renfrew Victoria Football Club. Uh, basically, basically, um, yeah, we are, we're raising funds for these two well, very worthwhile charities. Um, and we're hiking 10 mountains tomorrow to do it, the Mamoles Mountain Range. So fingers crossed we don't muck it up. Aye, fingers crossed I make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's going to be 36 kilometres, 11,500 feet, 10 Munros, and we're aiming to do it in under 14 hours. It's a bit of an ask. <laughs> Just a bit of an ask. So, yeah, hopefully we manage it okay. So, hope you enjoy the video, guys. Um, and I hope I haven't bothered you too much with all the, the constant, uh, constant posts and Facebooks and Instagrams about raising money, but... To be honest, as of today, we're at £2,300, so we've done amazing. £500 starting. That's what we thought, £500. Uh, £500, and we've done amazing, so really happy about that. But now we want £2,500. <laughs> we might be there by now, you never know. Um, so, yeah, I'll put up a wee, uh, a wee bit of how much we've actually made so far, um, just as the time of airing. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and, uh, yeah, wish us luck. Take care. <laughs> how are you feeling, mate? Are you nervous? Oh me, I'm nervous as Folks, we're up the top, 
Miller and Corian, number one, done. It's been uh, <laughs> quite a slog coming up. It's just turning seven o'clock now and we've done that just about two hours. Did a bit of drone footage here for 15 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, we've both got a decent sweat on, eh? Sweatband. Uh, sweatband. <laughs> He's rocking the old uh, John McEnroe sweatband. <laughs> Loving it. Um, so yeah, but it's, it's been a bit of a slog up. So we're up here now anyway, so that's where we're going. If you can see the hill there, just to the right, the taller one. That's uh, Stob Ban, I think. And then over to the left, just in front of the sun, as long as you're not getting blinded out there, that's uh, Skewer of M. So that's the Devil's Ridge, that's number three. And all the lumps all past there, <laughs> the rest of them that we've got to do. <laughs> so we haven't seen MD yet, but we had a great cloud inversion. I'm saying had, we still have. Well, if I spin you around, bear with me. Look at that. That's Fort William down there. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Down in there, and if I spin you around there, that's Glen Nevis. Looking uh, eastward, if the sun's not blotting you out, that's Ben Nevis right there, the big big lump of rock there. And then the Memorial straight ahead of you there. And look at that, absolutely outstanding. Hopefully you haven't been blinded out. So we're going to go quick, we're going to do a wee bit of admin here, go quick and uh, and see if we can get all the way over to Stop Ban as, as record time as we can. So we'll speak to you a bit further on. Hope you've enjoyed the footage so far. We've been trying to make it um, as cinematic for you as we can. Dramatic, cinematic, oh, a bit of everything. Just loving it, absolutely loving it. Made it up here without falling. Just want that on record. Oh, you've just <laughs> <laughs> oh at least it'll get in anyway. <laughs> right, so we'll speak to you a bit further on. Right, folks, so that's us come off of Miller and Corian and we're on our way to stop ban right now. Um, oh, I just thought I'd give you a wee bit of a more in-depth update of what, what we've been doing. Um, to be honest, I know everybody's uh, going on about the temperature um, this week, um, with it being nearly 30 degrees and things like that, to be careful, but it's not really been a problem so far, has it? Just sweating. Just, well, you're going to sweat anyway, I'm going to sweat anyway, but it's not been like mega hot yet. But, um, I know, well that's it, it's only 7 in the morning, um, but yeah, it's getting it's getting warmer basically, um, and you're starting to feel it on your skin. <laughs> so I think the next stop I'm going to have to factor up, factor vampire, um, you know as all as uh, Moroccan sunset coloured haired people, hair coloured people. <laughs> ah, well there's, a, there's always a bonus, um, but yeah. It's uh, it's definitely starting to warm up now, but the temperature's not been too bad. The the walk in, um, we, we pushed ourselves pretty hard in between the filming, um, purely because we, we were trying to kind of maintain a pace, which we've done not bad actually, considering um, all the drone shots and stopping for GoPro footage and, and things like that. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been okay. Um, so yeah, we're just walking up along this kind of ridge here. It's quite a broad ridge. At the moment, I think it narrows further along. That'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, I've had uh, some teeth now as well. I had my, my protein bath. I'm feeling energised. Did a wee Facebook Live. Hopefully that went out quite well, but I suppose we'll find out when I get back home. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep pushing on now. Try and get to stop ban as quick as we can. And uh, we'll probably just speed these up there. See you there.
Hey, where are we? Um, I've just descended from Stob Ban. That's a lot steeper than what I realised, but there you go. I've still got a cloud inversion down there in Glen Nevis, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I think I don't I don't think either of us expected it to be quite as long in between Milton and Corrin, Monroe number one, and Stob Ban, Monroe number two. Um, I think I walked it about, I don't know, 3k, 4k maybe, I don't know. But it wasn't like short, that's for sure. It took us a wee while. But we're push, pushing on now, um, and we're, we're heading for Scoot of M, which is actually that one there, but we have to go up round there and go right along the Devil's Ridge to get to it. And then we come back along the Devil's Ridge again, it's like kind of there and back sort of thing. Um, so we're going to try and push on again and try and kind of make up some time along this, this lower flat section. Um, views are just <laughs> unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. That's Ben Nevis. You can actually, I think that might be the, the emergency shelter up the top. You can just see poking, I'm not sure. Outstanding. I can hear the all the waterfalls as well. I think Steel Falls is, is further on though. Um, that's the kind of more well known waterfalls in this area. Um, we actually walked by there on the way back um, when we come through the valley there, through the glen. Um, so we should be able to get to see it there as well. Yeah, so far so good. Enjoying it. Um, the sun's really starting to get into it, so I can feel the heat coming. Pretty ha pretty heavy now. Um, it's burning off the inversion, the cloud inversion to the to the the, the southeast there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, the heat coming. So we're prepared for it. I've got tons of water. I've got my water filter as well. I've got a new one um, because it's a bit lighter weight uh, than my MSR trail shot that you've seen me use previously. This one's a, a decathlon one, so it's actually like a I put a wee thing up. It's like a it's a soft flask with a filter built into the nozzle. So the idea is you just remove the flask section, scoop up the water that you need and, um, and then either decant it by squeezing the flask or just drink it straight from the nozzle. Um, so we'll be decanting into our bladders uh, in the backpacks and we have some isotonic tablets from Decathlon as well um, which we'll put in the, back, in the bladders as well with the backpacks. Hopefully kind of keep our salts and our electrolytes up and stuff just with the heat. We knew it was coming, so we tried to prepare as best we could. Um, so I'm veered off a wee bit here, I'll try and get back over. Oh, here we go. So, hopefully the footage has been pretty decent. Both me and Brad have made a bit of an effort to um, try and make this an enjoyable video. <laughs> and not just two guys doing mountain after mountain after mountain after mountain. So, yeah, I hope he's enjoying it. But one thing I will say is... The ascent and the descent of Stob Ban, anyway, um, is definitely steeper than we expected. We uh, watched dozens of videos on YouTube. Kind of how I got into this was because of watching videos of people walking hills so I could get to know what I was doing when I was going up them. Anyway, I found this, uh, this YouTuber or YouTubers called uh, Highland Hikers, who have got a fantastic uh, drone video of the Memorial's Mountain Range. I'll try and post a link either on the, the screen just now or, or in the, the description below. So these guys are... They're pretty good and their drone, uh, drone footage is outstanding. Um, and they're, they're fairly well. I think uh, one of the gentlemen's fairly new to walking uh, the, Mon the Monroes as well. Same as us. Um, but when you look at that drone footage, you think, yeah, 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 that's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad because the drone's really high up and it's really hard to get a perspective of somebody on it, you know, until you're on it. <laughs> and then you're getting your perspective. So something to think about anyway. There is definitely like a... Uh, Decent walks in between the two. They're not as short as I quite expected. Certainly that first section, anyway. But I'm going to go just now before I fall my backside. Um, I'll bring you out and show you the walk on to the Devil's Ridge. We'll see you up there.
something. Okay, folks, um, we've just done stop bam, we've came along uh, past the locking where we topped up our water, which we were in desperate need of. That's both of us already tanked about two litres um, already, um, and we're not even a, a third of the way through. So, yeah, we're going to need to hit the other locking that I've got planned later on as well. But that zigzag path coming up uh, to this kind of bee locking between um, the Devil's Ridge and pushing on to uh, Stop Choir Cairn um, was quite, quite steep, quite difficult. Um, both of us have felt that one. So we're taking a wee breather here before we tackle this ridge. Um, and then we're just going to push on. I think Brad's going to uh, do a wee taster and see how it's going to be leaving the bag one, but we're going to leave one bag here and see how that goes. Um, and then if, 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 if it works, the next, we've got uh, two more outline ridge, uh, ridge walks to do. Um, we might do that in the other ones with both bags then. Um, we're just not so keen on leaving both bags in case something happens. So, so we'll see how it goes anyway. And uh, we're going to push on. So hopefully we get some nice footage here. This is meant to be pretty impressive. So we'll push on. Enjoy the show. Day quite as good as this. Um, warm, sunny, no clouds really. Great views. Oh, good. A massive cloud inversion. Yep, it's had everything. Tell you something though, there's lots of flies. Lots of flies. Not midges, it's flies. Strange. So, anyway, we're going to push on to Ambodach, get that done, get it out of the way. And then we'll see how hard we can push on to number five. Um, we are going to need to stop for a rest. So we'll tie him back up, up one of the other hills. Well folks, this is just about to summit Ambodach. That's uh, number four for today. Um, we're currently at 1026 metres. I think this is a, 
Yeah. I, think I thought this was a little bit higher. I think it may actually be higher. I think my watch is a wee bit out. I think it's uh, nearer the 190, or sorry, 1,090. Um, so we're just going to touch a cairn and push on on. See if we can go and get to Stop Choir Cairn, I think it is, for number five and get some lunch. I think that's a, the next shout. We're both feeling it big time. Legs are burning, calves are burning. <laughs> Everything's burning. <laughs> Everything's burning. Um, my calves are burning. So, we're going to go and touch the cairn, eh? We'll do it. Yeah. And we'll get this done. Do it together. Here we go. Whew. Knees are singing as well. I can feel my skin burning. <laughs> What's not going on? <laughs> here we go, eh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Job done. Number four. Oh, number four. What have you? Tell you something, guys. I mean, if you wanted to come and pick any one of these hills to do you on their own, every every one of them so far has been well worth it. The views are outstanding. Outstanding. So yeah, we're going to push on to Stop Choir Cairn, and then it's a kind of outline ridge walk to Angerinach. Uh, I think it's Angerina, and then back to Stop Choir here. And then, uh, so that's five and six, so seven and eight are over there, and nine and ten are behind them, stand alone. Um, my camera has been quite short there, so I do apologise. <laughs> I've been holding it all up. Holding it like that, <laughs> I don't even point anywhere. Right, so we'll get going, we'll, we'll do a bit of admin up here, and then we'll, uh, we'll see you a bit further down. There we go. Right folks, that's me uh, filling my water bladder and I'm back up in the saddle between uh, Stop Choir, Stop Choir Cairn and I think it's Nagara Gehen. My man down. Unfortunately Brad's had to call it a day. Um, what an absolute legend. He, uh, he pushed to his limit and way beyond his limit and he kept pushing and to be honest I don't think it was fair. I was being quite not forceful, was just kind of egging him on to keep coming, but I think you need to know your limits and he finished off with six man roads, finished off on uh, Angerinach and now he's heading down to Stale Falls uh, and he'll get picked up there. Um, I'm going to push on myself, see how far I can get. I'm not sure I'll be able to get the full 10, I'll be honest, I am aching in all sorts of places right now. Um, but we'll push on and see how far I get. I want him to get the 10 done. Let's take it out of me. It's hard as. So, there's a steep climb coming up. I'm going to uh, put you away for that. And uh, I'll hopefully just speak to you up the top uh, and get a wee spell. I'm going to have to take a five, five, ten minute break up there. Um, I never really took a break at the top of uh, Angerina. I just kind of went touched the summit and came back, and that was a long ridge walk as well. Good bit of scrambling on that one quite precarious at points as well. Uh, anyway, right. See he's up the top of here, alright? See you in a bit. <laughs> Seventh Monroe. Oh my goodness, Nagar Gaken. Um, give me some stats. 
10 hours, 9 minutes. 1,000 meters, 1,052 meters, we're at the now. And uh, I'm done. Wow. I am exhausted. Turn you around. That's the next one. Oh, it's a beast. So, I'm going to sit here for a few minutes, gather myself, try and drink some more juice. Empty the rocks in my shoes, suntan lotion, all that good stuff. I'm done. Goodness. Right, hopefully I'll see you further down on the ridge. Taking so long to do a, a live video, folks. The signals have been kind of on and off, and to be honest, man, I am absolutely knackered. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep this on for much, much longer. But um, I'm on top of my row number eight. Um, knackered, absolutely knackered. It's been a hard slog. Um, struggling with uh, fuel, I suppose, is, is what we're struggling with. Um, getting enough energy in. My legs feel like jelly most of the time, um, but same positive, uh, so we're doing alright. Um, we've got, I don't know if you can see behind me, uh, that's number 9, and if I spin round, hold on, let me switch my other, that's number 10. So that's Glenn Nevis down there. And if I, oh, actually, I never even, I don't know if I've said this to you, that big one there has been Nevis. Nervous. Clear as a bell. Looks stunning. Looks absolutely stunning. Bradley injured, yeah. <laughs> He's always injured. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear. So, we're doing good, we're doing good. Yes, we are. I'll turn you out something now. Give us something, mean, isn't it? There we go, there we go. watching. I think we'll probably push you in now. But listen guys, thanks so much for tuning in. As I said, maybe in another, probably another couple of hours we'll go number 10. If I can get a signal, we'll come back on and do the last one. So stay tuned guys, I know we will speak to you soon, alright? Take care. Okay folks, I'm actually just coming off a bin and more now. Um, I did a, a Facebook live at the top and kind of forgot to do a vlog. So much to do. Um, excuse the head being down and the, the shaky camera, I'm on my phone. So I left my backpack at the turn up ahead, um, just purely to try and save my knees a little bit. Carrying about three litres of water, so um, I'm on my phone anyway, so my GoPro's in my bag. So yeah, that's number eight done. Pushing on to number nine, which you can just see behind you. Behind me, sorry, uh, in the locking down there where I plan on getting even more water. I'm going through it like nobody's business. So sorry, flies. There's lots of flies, not clegs or midges, it's actual flies. <laughs> Strange. I must like my sweat, there's a lot of it. So, yeah, I've enjoyed it, but absolutely at the full on limit. What's that there? A sweat mark in my t shirt. Goodness, absolutely at my, uh, absolutely at my full on limit of exertion here. I'm going to have to dig deep for the last two. I think the most one knows I'd ever done in a row before was two, so... Crazy. So, yeah, if I turn you around. Oh, that's a pretty decent, decent ridge walk. It's not uh, dead steep. Um, it's not very scramble either, but... Gives you the feeling of it anyway. As you can see, it is quite steep. But, good nevertheless. Um, so, I'll pop you with it now. And then we're going to go down to the lock and I'll get you back out. And I do apologise for the lack of walk bys and kind of scenery shots. It's just at the first point just now, I'm just looking to get this done. So, kind of minimising how much downtime I've got. So, doing my best. 
Ja, is van uh, oh, zie eens, erom. Oké okay, folks, dat is just the, the locking or the, the turn on the path. Um, I don't know how beautiful that is, I really want to go for a swim right now. <laughs> so I'm going to ditch my bike here, but I've, I've had a wee change of plan because the road or the route to Monroe number 10 crosses a burn, a fast flowing burn. So I'm not going to refill my water here at this lock, I'm going to refill it down there. I've got enough to see me up and down, hopefully. So I'll refill up there. <sighs> it's hot. It's quarter six at night and it's just hot, hot. I don't know what temperature it is. So I'm just over 12 hours in, 27.5 kilometres. Uh, we're currently at 7.66. I don't know how, they, how high this one is. You can bet for sure it's a minimum of a 200 metres ascent. Let me have a look, let me have a look. 10.10. 10. 1,010 metres. 270. I forget my maths, screw it. A lot way, a long way, a lot way, what the? <laughs> I'm tired. Right, as I'm tired, I'm going to crack on. Big drink, push on up here. Let's do this. <sighs> We're here. <sighs> oh, I don't know if you can see it. Scoot Isle Moor, 1,010 metres, and I am broken. My knee is no bueno. Didn't like that at all. I actually had to take a ridge scramble route on the more exposed section to get away from the scree. Every time I put my weight on my right leg, I slip. I can't put my left leg down to coat, catch it. I'm really, really worried I'm not going to be able to do this 10. Like I said, I have to go to the bottom of the slope anyway, if I turn you around. I have to go to here anyway to go across, oh, there, to get out. So I'm going to have an assessment when I get there. I'll see how my knee is coming off of this and getting to there, because there's still a bit of a climb to get to there as well. But at the moment, nine my nose done. 13 hours, 29.2 kilometres. I feel sick, I feel broken, I'm completely regretting this. Oh my god. Right, I'll push on down, I'll speak to you a bit further on. So, I've made it off of Skur El Mar. I'm in quite a lot of pain, so I'm going to get my ibuprofen out of my bag, my first aid kit, and I'm going to take a couple of ibuprofen. Um, and just see, I need to head over to uh, when I'm big, I think it is, anyway, and get to the bottom of it. I can't get out of here without going by it, so we'll go by it, see what it's like, see if the, if the ibuprofen's kicked in. Um, I'll try and do some walking shots, I can't keep stopping, I'm absolutely done. Uh, nine my nose done, I'm at 31.15 kilometres and uh, 13 hours and 45 minutes. Um, yeah, no mean feet. So I'm going to go just now, get my ibuprofen sorted. I'm going to catch that burn on the way across and I'm going to top up all my waters again. I'm going to try and manage it though, I'm not going to fill them right up because I don't want to be carrying any more weight than I need to. Uh, and there is a locking up at um, Binnenberg, so uh, worst case scenario I'll just top up again there again. So. I'll leave it for now and uh, I'll see you.
I'll keep this brief because I'm getting eaten again. Yeah, number 10. So, 943 and made it 728, so just over 200 metres of ascent. Right, I think I'm going to do that. And he's sore, but the swelling's actually went down a bit from the, from the ibuprofen, and it feels a little bit better. Um, so I think I'm going to give it a go. Give it a go and see how I feel. If it's too bad, then stop. But, yeah, we need to get this done, don't we? I am pooped. So I was just checking the map as well. And we go off the other side of this one, but it doesn't look like a distinct path. Um, it looks like a find your own way, which I'm not really keen on. I'd rather have a path, especially this late in the day. Um, my decision making skills aren't going to be the greatest, so... Uh, but I've got one big marker to follow. Ben Nevis over there. If I head for Ben Nevis, uh, I'll get, the, I'll get the, the River Nevis and i just follow the river. Follow the river all the way to Steel Falls and then follow it out to the car park. So that should be okay. I just need to get to that river. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to have some jelly babies to give me some sugar. We drink a water and we're going to do this. Let's do it. See you at the top. Ten mountains, one day, done. Fifteen hours. I am done. Oh my god. We are up the top of Ben and Beg. 943 meters. The last mountain for today. <sighs> We're here. I'm done. It's been an absolute slog. Absolute slog. I'm not going to dwell too much. I think we'll probably get a debrief tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk out, try and get some filming on the way out, like walk, walk forwards and things like that. But oh man, in case I forget, I'd like to thank everybody that watches the channel. I'd like to thank everybody that follows me on Facebook and Instagram. And thank everybody, especially for donating and just giving for this charitable cause. JDRF and the Renfrew Victoria Youth Football Team. And an extra special thanks to my wife Gillian, Ryan and Austin, the boys. And then another special thanks to Brad. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for him. He pushed me quite far and it's helped. Sorry he couldn't be here with me now. That was a proper acceptance speech, wasn't it? <laughs> right, I'm signing off. We done it. That was so much longer than I remember. Right folks, that's us, we've done the, the 10 mountain challenge and uh, needless to say I don't think we're planning anything else in, <laughs> in the near future. <laughs> so uh, yeah, 10 mountains, one day, I think in total I finished after about 17 hours. Um, Brad obviously uh, came off of number 6, um, mad effort from Brad to get there like, um, and uh, you actually had a bit of bother getting back didn't you? Aye, took me a while. Aye, three, three hours. Did you come off of one mountain? I know, that was nuts. I wasn't happy with that suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I think we started, we both started kind of struggling water-wise, um, like kind of midway point, but we knew we were going to need water, so we had a filter. But Brad ended up um, coming off that mountain, running out of water and having to get it from the stream unfiltered, aye? Ah, uh, it was tasty. <laughs> so, 
Definitely days like we were expecting heat, so we did we did expect to consume more water. But I think in total, I consumed like ten liters of water. Um, I had electrolyte tablets that I was putting in my bladder as well. Thankfully, um, because if I'd put ten liters of pure water through my body, I'd have been ill. Um, imagine that flushing through. That's ridiculous. So I feel bad enough. <laughs> so I um, so first. Uh, Couple of mountains are outstanding. You've probably seen the footage. It's just I. That's my first ever cloud inversion as well, which I was so happy to get. Uh, the views were just outstanding. We met a couple of folk that were camping, and they seemed maybe having a great time up there. Loads of nice people on the hills as well, and it was nice to meet people. Um, but I think we slightly underestimated the distance between each peak. Um, I think I'd said previously in the video. Um, looking at drone footage on YouTube and stuff like that, you look at it, you don't get perspective of how far away certain peaks are, so it's, it's far. <laughs> it's a long way. Aye, it's far, far. Far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely, it's a, that was a, it's a slog. I loved it, I'll be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't plan on doing it again, but the views, <laughs> the views, and, and just the experience, I think, is hard to beat. Um, what do you what do you think? I know you come off you come off at number number six, didn't you? So what were you what were you thinking? And the views in the first three were amazing. Mm. The the last three, I can't even remember it. Oh. God. Can't that's what happens in the even there. Yeah. <laughs> just blur. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, yeah, I, I I was a bit downtrodden when Brad left. I was I was almost going with Brad at that stage because um, I I didn't feel great either. Um, and when he left, I found it quite. I took it quite hard, uh, as you may be seen in the video. Um, I think mentally, I struggled from that point. You want to get <laughs> getting text messages? Oh dear! Put your phones on silent, please. I should have told that before. <laughs> um, but yeah, I started struggling mentally there as well. To be honest, um, didn't really take a break through the day. It was more like a wee, I think the longest break I took was ten minutes. We stopped for lunch for yeah, about 10 minutes, we might have stopped for 20, but Just I think if we stayed stopped, that would have been me. Yeah, so uh, we'll uh, have to keep moving then. 100% agree, I think that was it. So yeah, I, I uh, left Brad there, I was worried about him for a while, but I managed to get in contact again, um, part of the way through the walk, which kind of settled my nerves because I was worried that you hadn't got home. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only one. I know, I know. Um, so I was happy with that, but yeah, I pushed on and... Um, I think on top of number seven, I contacted Jillian and I was ready for coming off. Contacted my wife and I was ready for coming off and Jillian kind of kept me going. So I was uh, I was pleased I had her there to do that. Um, and I pushed on, had damaged my knee on number nine or coming off on number eight and thought, yeah, that's my knee done. And then I managed to keep going after some ibuprofen. And then 10, pff, what that view off on 10 was uh, outstanding. The sunset coming behind Ben Nevis was unbelievable. Uh, I wouldn't have been camping up there that night. I could have done that walk the next day. That'd have been nicer rather yeah. than doing that walk out in the uh, that night. But yeah, as you've seen, it was pitch black when we finished. Um, and I met Brad and my wife and my son Ryan at the end, which was emotional. Um, it was great to see them at the end. So. I even got a cuddle. It was great. You got a cuddle. A wee bozy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to say some thank yous. Thank you to everybody that's been watching the videos and staying with us on Facebook and whatnot. And thank you to everybody on Just Given. So as of today, um, right now, um, a week later from the from the actual walk, we are at two and a half thousand pounds. Absolutely outstanding. That is good. Five hundred pound target, as we said at the beginning of the video, um, and we get two and a half thousand. So happy. So yeah, that's going to a good cause. It's going to the right place. So thank you everybody for that. And uh, just thanks for everybody for supporting us, the wives and the family and, and all that. Friends. Friends, People everybody. Shared it on Facebook, everything. Yeah, thanks everybody. So that's been outstanding. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to roll some credits here to thank everybody who donated on Just Given. We have a bit of drone footage in the background, so I hope you enjoy it. You can stay tuned um, and catch some of that. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for our next adventure. I don't know when that will be, but... A long time. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again for watching and uh, stay safe and take care. Bye for now. Right, mate? Hi, mate. So how did you really feel after that then? <laughs> mate, I was absolutely tired. Tired as f***.